All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, I was talking to a user on Facebook just there regarding fluid simulations in Blender, and he was essentially asking how to stop the flow. And it's pretty simple, to be fair. So we have our domain here, and obviously we've got our inflow. So the inflow can be keyframed, and it's, it used to be called enabled in 2.8, and sorry, 2.7. So in 2.8, they've renamed it to flow. So for example, if I want to have it ticked, I can right click here, insert keyframe. So I'll keyframe it right on to frame 60. Ignore this, this is just baked stuff. And on frame 61, I can untick it and I can insert keyframe. So on frame 100, insert keyframe again. And on frame 101, I'll enable it and I'll insert keyframe. Um, we'll go to 150, so hopefully you can see what you're doing here. Uh, 152, I'll take it off, insert keyframe. Now I could do it here, but it's just easier. Essentially, should go on for 60 frames, off for 40, and back on for another 50, then off. Uh, let me just quickly bake this out for you. So I'll just quickly jump to the domain, and I'll hit bake. Now, keep in mind the settings are quite low at the moment. Uh, but the problem was the user was having drips. And this could be caused by a few things. Uh, scale could be the geometry that you're generating from. The particles might not be dying quickly enough. Uh, so we'll just take a quick look and I'll quietly jump back into the icosphere. So on for 60. So it should simulate for 60 frames. Off for 40 and back on. And then off again. And that's pretty much how you keyframe the inflow. Any questions, stick them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Like and subscribe. Peace.